time killer. Uh, check, 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 check. Okay. I uh, check the check. Can you guys hear me? Give me a give me a big old thumbs up in chat if you hear my voice. Okay. Well, I fixed that thing. Okay. So. Again, uh, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, Guten Morgen. Uh, hi, I'm Aaron. You may have, uh, you may have been bumped over here from the robot boombox stream unceremoniously because it's time to throw you into the vortex. It's time for, it's time for time killers. It's a good morning for time killers, don't you think? I think so. All right, so right now, um, I was trying to, you know, grab one or two people to do the, all the stuff with this with with me, but uh, for the moment, you're just going to be stuck with me, um, and I'm terribly sorry about that. <laughs> but uh, maybe in a in a you know a little bit, we'll we'll be able to grab one or more or two people to kind of go over some of the nuances, but I'm going to do what I can until then. Uh, so just sit tight. I'm going to switch my scenes here. And when we'll get into it, we'll get into what we're, what we're doing. Look at all that blood. What's up with all this, all this pixelated blood? Hey, Strata and Incredible Technologies. Do those names sound familiar, familiar to y'all? Those of you who, um, regularly tune in to, um, some of Robot Boombox and the Fraud Crew's usual shenanigans are maybe familiar with those companies because they developed Street Fighter the movie. Um, but if you're not familiar with their earlier work, then just check this stuff out. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to pop in some credits. We got quite a roster here in Time Killers version 1.32. That is, to my understanding, the last arcade release, a revision. Quite a few characters to choose from here. Um, there also is a Mega Drive version of this game. It is not very good, <laughs> but we may even give that a shot in a little bit, depending on how we feel. Uh, for now, I'm going to pull up my little uh, handy dandy uh, notepad if you're out here. And I'm going to go over some of the, just the, you know, the basic mechanics of this and kind of get you a little familiarized uh, so that you're not you know, left in the dark when it comes to the killers of time. So Mantaz. I'm going to pick Mantaz here, my main. And we're going to talk about it. We're going to go over what makes Mantaz into Mantaz. Mutant Armageddon. Sounds like some scary. Mutant Armageddon sounds like some scary shit. Okay, so uh, first things first, uh, your buttons. So this game has a really fucking annoying button layout. <laughs> um, the way this kind of shakes out is you have back weapon. Excuse me, getting ahead of myself. Back arm, weapon arm, are your two, you know, kind of punch normals. Then you have back leg and weapon leg. You know, kind of a light and a heavy. And then an extra button is called your head, where obviously you use your head. It is a... For most characters, it's usually, you know kind of a limited normal but it's just really fast it's kind of like just a really fast jab for Mantaz it's one of the best normals in the game because look how fast this comes out granted this game has the problem where stuff will just you know stuff other things let me re 
reposition these guys so I can talk a little bit more about limbs. Um, one of the issues is if you lose a limb... Uh-oh, my second player buttons weren't set. Uh-oh. Oh, no. <laughs> That's a good sound to accompany that. Oh, no. <laughs> so, only one can win, he says. But, uh, yeah, mo unlike a lot of the games at the time, no block button. I first played this game in a in a RC control racetrack in Georgia in the 90s, and we were perplexed. Like, there's no block button in this game? Um, but something a lot of people are familiar with regarding this, uh, this game has just straight up insta-kills. Like, so if I press all five buttons simultaneously, this happens? Oh, well, maybe if I don't... Well, yeah, round's over. You lost. You got hit. Don't get hit by that. Don't do it. So... <laughs> so that's, you know, something to be wary about. Also, every other every character in the game, and I'll get to some of this, every character in the game has a different uh, type of one of those. Said insta-kills usually have a lot of startup. Like, if I... If I do this, a lot of recovery also, if I do this, I am betting the round on some of that sometimes because of the way that you can Perfect. get punished for that. But yeah, don't get hit by that. If you see that wind up, you you start blocking. You don't press buttons. Just don't press buttons. Uh, Mantaz also one of the characters that has, um, usually most characters will have multiple moves that will do something like that. This is a variant on his insta-kill that does, that's way safer, uh, has a, has only the amount of startup for like, as long as you hold the button, you, you, you kind of have this wind up, but it's so much safer than doing it normally, it takes off limbs, and also if they lose a limb, these buttons I was talking about, you can't do them anymore, like, you've lost that normal, it's gone, you don't get it back until the next round, so, you know, taking utmost precaution, You know, to not lose a normal you might have, or may wish to, you know, may wish to space people out with, because it's really useful in that way, uh, kind of becomes tantamount to, um, you know, t to a point where, like, losing a limb can mean, the co can cost you the match. It's pretty wild stuff. Okay, so. Okay, so I went over a little bit of the normals. Uh... Let's go over some of the uni the universal mechanics that you may not be super familiar with. Uh, we talked about the death moves. Um, you can throw your weapons. You can throw your weapons in this game. Um, so for him, I think it's forward, back, arm, and back leg. So let's try that. Okay, it should be... Hmm. That's odd. <laughs> Oh, no. You know what? This is a little embarrassing. I might have been lied to about this input. <laughs> Maybe we'll try and figure this out when, when I get a little more backup. Cause I <laughs> uh, you haven't missed anything, Mordecai. I'm just... Uh... I'm just talking a bit about, you know, the kind of user or universal stuff. Um, and also try to figure out how you throw your weapon. <laughs> but we're, we'll get to that because there's other stuff. There's plenty of other stuff to talk about. Whereas Time Killers is concerned. Uh, this game has throws. You don't see them terribly often because of how much, you know, you're, how much spacing you're doing. Huh. Those do not seem to execute on the first frame. And this game also has like super weird button priority. So more mutant Armageddon. Time killer.
killer. Engage. And uh, something, you know, this game also has sweep. So if I hit down, away, and back leg, I have hell sweeps. They are usually not very good unless spaced correctly, because see, see the distance on that button? And that stunned me. And when you're stunned in this game, usually you hit all five. That's that's the round, so you got to be care really conscientious and careful of what you're throwing out. So, uh, let's get into some Mantaz-specific stuff. Uh, Mantaz has... A kind of a really good zoning game with these high-low lasers. Second round. Engage. And the thing that accompanies that, like once you kind of get them locked down with the lasers, then you can start doing this kind of stuff. So Mantan has an air dash. Think about for a minute, this game came out... What year are we talking here? We're talking about a 1992 fighting game with air dashes. You know, that like that's not that's something to be really commended because I can't think of any other game that was doing anime stuff in '92. Can you guys? Only one can win. Engage. And um, what makes it particularly good with Mantaz? So something I neglected to say earlier. You have a back arm and a weapon arm. If you hit both of them, it's a Sam Show situation where you get another normal that's like usually a heavy or something like really when it comes out and has a lot of priority. That got out outclassed by a jab actually, so it does have a little bit of startup. Uh, usually heavies will take off a limb uh, or better. And so what's also cool, again, regarding Taz's air dash, if you do jump in both kicks, he's got this set this I, I've been calling it a sentinel stomp just in in recent in recent weeks because just look at what you can do with his air dash in conjunction with this normal it's pretty silly yeah pre we're talking pre dark stalkers pre guilty Pre most known like Doge and stuff. This is '92. So you know they they wanted to make a fighting game so bad, and have this character be able to fucking fly. <laughs> and just look at that look at cross up ability. Look at like I can I can um I can jump with a normal. There's actually a a, a way of you can jump and use your head normal and like chain that into the heavier buttons. You can do empty chains like this to kind of run away. But uh, what makes, again, what makes that, that flight in the stomp and the flight so good, you get that at least three or so times in each jump. And because it's angled directly at their head, a lot of the times you will wind up getting a stun off of it. So it becomes this pressure game of like keeping them out with, with these, using big buttons like, you know, your crouching head normal, like look how far that goes. And they just kind of, you know, and you can, so, something I failed to notice when talking about universal mechanics, everyone in this game can short hop. Everyone. Every single character can just short hop around with buttons like this. You just tap up forward, and it's like a KOF hyper hop. It's wild good. But, unique to Mantaz, you can short hop into this normal air dash out of it, and kind of make up your own pressure along the way. Uh, Rancid actually has something similar to that. But we will get to Rancid in due time. So yeah, and like I can do it then retreat if I'm if I'm if I think I'm gonna get punished because a lot of times you get out prioritized and stuff. I know this looks really good now, but there's some really high priority buttons in this game. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can see if I can get a dizzy off of that. Oh, see that just straight up dizzy. Stuff just dizzy sometimes. Your normal standing um, both leg attack is that this double kick here. It's you know pretty high priority. It combos.
Yeah, Mantas is quite fun. I'll say that. You know, if you if you've got any experience with with newer, you know, fighters, you can kind of apply that knowledge and come back to this game with kind of a fresh set of eyes. Time killer, engage. You know, yeah, beam lockdown. You're, it usually does not. Most of the the downside about fireballs and projectiles in this game, they don't do a lot of damage. So like this stuff is mostly just to keep people from jumping at you because of like how long this projectile is. It's kind of comparable to if you are familiar with TMNT tournament fighters. It's kind of like Armagon's fireball a little bit, <laughs> except not completely ridiculous. <laughs> Perfect. Um, not so much in the Tekken sensibility, but they are mapped to limbs, you could say. Like, one's, you know, one's like your left arm, one's your right arm, one's a left kick, one's your light right kick, but then your head becomes a button, so that's kind of the distinction. And again, that's pre this is pre-Tekken we're talking about. If you're really fast about the, um, the flight, you can usually land three of these before you land. Unless you get caught in the corner. Getting caught in the air, by the way, and, and getting juggled with multiple normals is kind of the flavor of the day. Um, you don't want to have that happen to you. So, then I'll talk about Mantaz a little bit. Only one win. Why don't we switch it up? Um, the reason that I think no one is talking about this game particularly is because... It's a, been a little bit overshadowed by one by Bloodstorm in some ways by its own its own pseudo sequel, and you know two it's um people just kind of don't take to the art style and kind of just assume that this game is just about gore which it which it kind of is it is very like a ex, very much like an exploitation kind of thing, um but again just to kind of sum up Mantas and what Mantas does uh, has really high priority laser you can do like you know standing laser slow like crouch laser it's kind of locks a lot of people down um you know, flight into head attack kind of just lets you rush down um one thing i didn't talk about for mantas is the vertical helicopter spin so why don't i get around to that I think the input is back back this. Now I talk about this. And this crosses up, I just It crosses up, takes off a limb, and it's a just a way better version of Mantas's insta-kill. Didn't touch there, but There is a vertical version of it that I'm Perfect. Just a second here. I am working out one technical difficulty. Yeah, Mantas is a helicopter. Let's see, Mantas is really good. Uh, I would say Rancid is may, you know, maybe slightly better depending on your perspective. <laughs> and for one, you know, out of Mantez's you know pseudo triangle jump stuff, here comes this guy. This guy Rancid. Rancid has a chainsaw. Check out this button. Like, do you see the screen control? Look like what? Are, what is Mantez supposed to do about this? Just short hopping with this chainsaw. You can't fly away from that. I mean, you, if you can, most of the matchup between Mantez and Rancid consists of him trying to get above this button. But a lot of time, it just doesn't work out that way. Also, I was talking about you know the death moves, the insta kills earlier. So Rancid's version of that is safe, completely. Perfect. 
move decapitates, completely safe, has really fast startup, and kind of makes Rancid one of the unquestionable best characters in the game, just on that strength of alone. But, you know, to add, if, as if that weren't enough, let's see if I can do Chainsaw Ride. Oh my god, it's been too long. <laughs> uh, give me one sec, guys, sorry. Oh yeah, so... That's a lot of startup, but <laughs> it's like how silly that move looks. Um, Second round, engage. I apologize. I'm looking at like three different screens. So, um, check out this button. Rensa just has really hard buttons to contest, and only a few characters in the game can really make him stop pressing buttons. I mean, Mantez, you know, can can shoot lasers, lock him down that way. Matrix. Then you have Matrix. Matrix. Sorry, I had to set that up a different way. Okay, so... You know, you may be wondering, okay, well, Mantaz and Rancid seem really good. Uh, what do I do about... What do I do about this? You know, what, what other kind of characters are we really looking at here? Um, so... You know, regarding characters who have, you know, really good short hop stuff, check out this normal. And how it bounces off of you and lets you attack again. Most characters have something similar to this. Matrix is really good because it's just, it's basically instant. You can cancel it into other stuff. Like, you can... Like, you see how that, like, crossed up? See how I switched, like, sides there? Perfect. <laughs> so, my argument for the top three in this game just, you know, kind of off of the strength of what their general game plan is. Probably Mantaz, Rancid, and Matrix in that order. Um, uh, oh yeah, I didn't talk about Matrix's... Uh, so remember how I was saying, uh, you know, every character has death move, some are better than others. Um, Matrix can short hop with this insta kill that has no recovery is completely safe on block. Well, if on block, excuse me. Oh yeah, and the aforementioned normal where you can, you know, do a, um, like a jump light kick and cancel it into stuff, you can just cancel into the Only one to win. the air stab like that. Granted, it's low profileable, so it's not completely, you know, well, uh, that's complete, not completely stupid, but. Matrix. So I don't know. Um, from there, it kind of there's there's ah, excuse me. Dithers down to 
Game. You know, abusing stuff like this button. Um, she has a Tatsu I'm trying to get out that she can cancel into other stuff. Oh yeah, it's this. So, oh, that was a hitbox. <laughs> that is a hitbox that uh, that exists. I am the hitbox understander. Um, one thing about this, that normal that just killed him, um, she spins around and the, the 45 degree angle it hits at makes it really easy to just, you know, kind of out prioritize stuff. You can actually cancel into this out of the, the task I was just doing. Um, this is her hard kick normal, by the way. If you press, again, like I said, both leg normals, you get this. Uh, also, one of the best things about her is just this stretchy arm. This is just jumping and, and down and light punch. And again, like I said, uh, normals that are kind of... A lot of the normals in the game that are pointed like down at a 45 degree angle that you can short hop with in this game, really absurdly good considering they usually net you stuns. And if you get stunned, you just hit all five buttons and they die. <laughs> and that's the game sometimes. Um, I think of what else to go over here. Uh, let me pull up my little note sheet. And yeah, I mean, one of the things that just keeps her in contention with these characters is how fast Perfect. and how safe that jump stab is. It, it is ridiculous. <laughs> Mantas would be in a contention to, um, you know, kind of just deal with it based on the range and pokes, but a lot of the times the hitbox and her boxes don't line up in favor of them. I mean, you end up just triangle jumping most of the match, and the problem with that is you get out-prioritized with those, or you trade damage in a bad way, and Mantaz has kind of a real problem with not having any good jump-ins other than that jump um, and both legs attack and, you know, f and flying out of it. Um, one thing I neglected to mention, I'm going to reset the game real quick. Time killer. Is there's actually a glitch with Mantaz's flight? Matrix. Time killer. Engage. Um. I'm gonna see if I can do this then explain it. Okay, see how he flew backwards there? That was, I was holding forward. There's actually, so there's a glitch and it's interesting. This came up from like an old test your might post from a thread that is now gone. I had to like archive.org this to, have to, see, to remember how it works. Basically, if you are holding, um, if you are holding up and doing both of, the, of, of your kick normals and you tap like air dash, Mantaz will go backwards. <laughs> And the reason that's important is usually you can only do three attacks because of the way his air dash works. Um, using the glitch, you get one more. So you get to attack like four times in, in the match. <laughs> or while, while you're in that jump state, excuse me. And just for Mantaz, that happens to be really good. <laughs> Uh, and again, you know, the instant kill has amazing range, uh, misses because lag is terrible. So, oh, one thing about Rancid. Time killer. Or, well, a couple things about Rancid I want to go over. So, Rancid has those annoying pokes, like we saw. Uh, the pokes are usually super, you know, super annoying. You know, low pokes with high priority. With the ability to kind of... Victory kind of added mix-ups off of them the way, kind of, in a way in a way that Mantaz and Matrix don't 
And what I mean by that is, so... So remember I was talking about short hops and how they're silly? Uh... Rancid has this stomp. Uh-oh, I, I got the sound glitch. Oh no. Oh no. It's all gone wrong. You can just reset the game. Sometimes the sound card... I don't know if this is true of actual hardware, but sometimes the sound card will just give up. It's like, nah, son. <laughs> You're doing too much. So... So, this short hop normal... My button... Oh, you know what? I got out jabbed. I actually, I set the button to be both players at the same time to kind of demonstrate some stuff, but it's working against me. <laughs> Basically, just know that this button, this jump button, on block or hit, you can cancel it into this stomp. Oftentimes, it will cross up. Like, see how it just crossed up there? Usually, it dizzies if you get it twice. It is quite good. I got the sound glitch again. We're having a lot of good luck today. <laughs> Sometimes it'd be like that in the world of time killers. So yeah, like you do air stomp, you know, it gives you that stun, that stun, and you decapitate them, or you mix them up by doing, you know, things like his. Um, he has this really annoying sweep. I'm gonna. Oh, whoops. Alright, here we go. He has like this trip that's really fast. And see how that crossed up like while he was like on his wake up? That didn't make any sense. You know, so you, when you start coupling all of that with how this stomp works, and he'll just. Oh yeah, I forgot to say, because it's it's a little Sam Show-ish, little weapon fighter flavor, uh, you can clash weapons and again, again, but again, Rance's insta-kill completely safe. On top of all the other stuff he probably didn't need. Like this button. So Yeah, this roll hits twice. You can cross up, it's just real, real good. And, um, you know, you can corner trap people that way. You also have this knee, and not, not the, not the yell, not. If you'll note, by the way, when a character is in the lead, they have a MIDI theme that will play. <laughs> it is usually really cheesy. I know you're thinking the music just kind of sounds like fart sounds, but trust, there's actually like a, a thought process to it. Oh yeah, so like this... That knee takes a while to come out. It's usually best used to like, to space your way in, like see like this. But you can definitely be hit out of it. Yep, two stomps. Every dizzies every time. You can instant overhead with it, cross up with it. It it, it works wonders. But I don't know. A lot of time you end up just kind of short hopping and and chainsawing. It's uh. <laughs> Rancid's ground chainsaw ride, even in con even if it connects, a lot of times you can get punished for it. It's uh, priority is real strange in this game because weapon attacks always cancel each other out, but a lot of the weapon attacks that are huge, like Rancid's, and can remain active for a long time, um, you can just kind of go to town with it. Mantez is one of the few characters that you know kind of has the reach to get over things like um, like Leafs. Um, Axe spin, 
Uh, you know, the recovery time is usually too quick for you to get like a punish in. Trying to jump over, you know, and to cross up can lead to you just getting multiple hits. If he gets that stomp, it's possibly a dizzy. Um, and Razzit just deals with like projectiles really well. The few characters in this game that have really good projectiles, um, like a Mantaz or a or a Leaf or Thug even. Um, you know, those top three characters really kind of negate a lot of that. Um, so I don't know. Let's talk about Thug. <laughs> talk about Thug. Leaf is probably supposed to be Leaf Erickson, yeah. Okay, Thug. Um, I'm not gonna say Thug is the worst character in this game. I will say that Thug is pretty underexplored. So for starters, Thug does a lot of this. This is a true low. And in conjunction with that, you know, you have the short hop overhead. This is kinda the basis of what you're doing with Thug. <laughs> And you go, ooh, ah. Uh. Like, you're throwing these buttons, you're doing a low to see if they react. Uh, you have a Blanca Ball. I'm going to show you Blanca Ball. Okay, sorry about that. Um, His, so everyone's kind of has this universal down forward um, and both legs attack. Uh, earlier with Rancid you saw it is that um, very good roll into like two piece and it can cross up. Thugs has similar utility, it's just not as silly in conjunction with the rest of his kit, we'll say. Uh, Thug's insta-kill, really good range, like look how far that goes. But again, just the startup hardly makes it worth it sometimes. Um, so one thing about Thug's, you know, kind of got this instant overhead, if you, if you tap up forward and full kicks you get that. You can cancel that into... His weapon thing for like another thing like, double overhead. I'll, I'll I'll try to show it off real quick. Like look at that. Kind of the basis of the basis of Thug's approach. Thug too strong for you. Um, Thug also has a ground pound in the Grand MK tradition. Um... Thug. Whoops! So, this ground pound... Seems innocuous enough, right? This doesn't really serve any other purpose but to bring them closer to you. Uh, I just think it's kind of a weird move. But, also, if spaced correctly, you chop off a limb, so... <laughs> so it's just a really interesting... They were really trying a lot of stuff over at Strata. Um, also, one unique one thing I think that's kind of unique to Thug, Thug has this very quick version of Insta Kill. It comes out way faster than than the usual one. It's a lot safer, and a lot of times it'll decapitate if I can get it right. Well done. I, I see what you did there, Mordecai. <laughs> uh, underexplored uh, Neanderthal territory. That's what we're getting into here on a Saturday morning here at Talk On. 
Alright, so, what do we have left to talk about? Doug's, Doug's death moves, again, have really good reach. Uh, the close range one I just showed off is really fast. Um, his long range one has great reach, and it basically is a normal, but it kills in one hit. Uh, like I just showed you, his jumping normal hatchet has really good reach, but, you know, Thug in general is very slow, so he relies on kind of, um, you know, being in your face. But you can also kind of turtle up, um, you know, for people who are too, you know, rancids, who are too short hop happy, you can turtle up and just kind of make them come to you. Um, I don't know, I think Thug and Leaf are kind of the hardest to, to figure, to piece together. Um, I think they take a lot of more effort than the rest of the cast, like, Mantaz is just easy. <laughs> Mantaz having an air dash really um, kind of sums up, you know, where Strata and Incredible Technologies were at during the making of this game. Um, you know, Mantaz has two different flight states, one where you're flying forward and one where you do away, away. Uh, the back dash is actually very slow, but again, like I, like I was showing off, you have that glitch where uh, you input forward fly off of a jump normal and you start going backwards. Um, the jumping both kicks attack is definitely, I think, Mantaz's best aerial. Um, while that's active, you, you again, you can always input or just buffer forward fly to cancel the kick when it hits. Uh, you usually get it three times in one jump. Furthermore, um, if you full jump and use both kicks, um, Mantaz will perform the flight the minute the move ends normally. Like, it, but it has to not connect. That's what I kind of was not showing off. So let me let me try to do that real quick. Kind of give you an idea of what I mean when I, of what I mean when I say this is a glitch and is not intended. <laughs> hmm. See, I'm getting it normally. Now that I'm really, and I lost a limb for it. <laughs> but I don't know. It's it seems like it's one of his only aerials. Um. That jump kick that it that lets you fly even when it doesn't connect because you can't do like um his jump his jump head is an instant instant overhead like look at this I can't actually fly out of that move I'm gonna try again I'm gonna try I'm gonna try canceling that in the flight as hard as I can yeah like it just doesn't let you do it I can't air, air back into this but if I do this. Oh, uh, he didn't live long enough. I really should have set uh, infinite life and time. I, I do apologize. This was all kind of um, done on the fly. See, like there. Like, why can Mantas do that? <laughs> And it's just a big button, it's such a big high priority button, and it comes out so fast that like, 9 times out of 10, they're just gonna have to try to jab or just get hit. Like, there aren't a lot of like, real, solid, just straight up like, combos in this game, but just, just doing that in and of itself is scary stuff. And you know, once you push them in the corner, you get to cross up off of it. Give me one quick second. I'm just checking to see if anyone has popped into Fightcade or has added me on the Discord who would like to get involved. Okay, I mean, it is early. Not a lot of people are up yet. But, you know, here we are. It's all on day two. Sockon.us and or Sockon.me for more information. Um, let's... Let me see if there's anything I want to talk about regarding the rest of the cast before we move on to other things. I think the thing, oh, air attacks that lead to instant kills in this game, like more easily you know, than on the ground. Like, if you have a good aerial insta kill, like I said, Matrix is probably. might be the best in the game. It really puts her up there directly with Rancid and Mantas. Um, you know, that the double punch, double kick inputs have a higher chance to stun. 
a lot of the times uh, counters lead to stun. Oh, I didn't talk about counters. So, how am I going to show that off? I don't know that there is a good way I can show off counters, to be honest. But, um... Okay, I think I know how I can show this off. Mantaz has probably one of the best in the game. I'll, I'll try to do that. Oh, you tried the trainer and it has no effect? I... I want to look into some of that, you know, going forward this year and try to get that straightened up for you because I know that can definitely be frustrating. You know, one of the good benefits of something like Fightcade is it kind of, you know, prevent, you know, kind of grants you this universal platform to play games on. Um, whereas with something like Colorful Fighters, you just don't get that that benchmark that everyone can play on. So. Oh, I'm gonna think about how I can. Oh, you know what? I already messed up. <laughs> Time killer. I'm so sorry. Uh, thank you guys for sticking around so far. Um... Man, Dad. Lord Wolf. Time killer. Engage. Okay. All right. Where's this little? Okay, so this move right here. When you get hit in this game, typically, um, there's a moment where you can counter. If the counter hits a certain way, usually you either take off a limb or you will stun them. Um, usually the move that will do that will be a, a double limb or double weapon attack. I don't know how I won that round. But yeah, this is like Mantaz's hundred hands. It's <laughs> believe it or not. <laughs> Excalibur. Yeah, Parsec or Remote Playable might work uh, best with that, Mordecai, I think. I'll, I want to get some people on it. I'll, I'll, I'll reach out to some heads for you. Alright, so with everything we talked about thus far... Um... One thing about Mantaz's flight cancels, again, you can kind of run away with the projectiles. Um, you can, if you trade something, you can usually flight cancel immediately towards them and attack again. Um, you can jump away from them, and if they jump towards you right as you lay, you can fly towards them to kind of change your direction mid-air. Orion can kind of do that, too. I don't really feel confident, super confident with Orion, so I might not be showing him off today. Um, especially since we got a, you know, a lot to get through, a lot of ground to cover. Um... Let's see. Like, Mantaz can really kind of rush down some of the slower characters in the game, like Leaf and Wolf. Like, I was kind of showing off with the hot pressure. I think Mantaz does pretty good against Rancid. Um, Thug can kind of fight Mantaz, like, you know, in a, in a poke war. Um, but Thug's normal jump is usually awful. Um, he's also just a little more susceptible to run away and, like, you know, just mashing out lasers. He does have that low projectile, but, uh, you know, it's not contending with the way that Mantaz shoots them. So, um... Oh yeah, one thing I kind of forgot to mention, if you if you input Mantaz's low projectile, even if it's, like, roughly moments before their attack is coming out, it'll still come out, and it's usually, like, 
trades in your favor because then you get to set up the flight stuff. Um, I don't know. Um, Mantas is just one of the weirdest characters I think I've ever seen in any fighting game. The properties of just his stuff kind of leave you wondering what just happened to you if you get rushed down by the uh, the flight stomp stuff. Um, and the game doesn't handle which side you're on very well. <laughs> like, you can fly over people like a couple different times on knockdowns. Actually, I'm going to see if I can give you an example of that. Time killer. Engage. So, like, if I knock you down... Like, see, like that... You can... Perfect. The cross of potential is just... Second round. Second For 1992, keep in mind, this is 92! Where you're setting up ambiguous <laughs> air dash cross-ups that you can flight cancel. <laughs> oh boy. Um, uh, something I couldn't get to work with uh, the character who I think oh, might killer. be just outside of the rancid Mantas Matrix trio. I think right down from there, I think it's Orion. Uh, what I can't really figure out with Orion, and I kind of wish someone was here to help me test this, is... This stage is incredible, by the way. Um, like, so see how he turns into a ball? You can usually cancel that into, like... You can cancel that into like a forward forward or a back back to like change your direction. There's a way to make him like shoot across the screen out of it and I have not for the life of me been able to get it to work. I don't know, you know, not super confident in... Second round. Game. Orion things, but I'll just say Orion has potential. So, um, it's almost 10 now. I think what I'm going to do is, since no one's popped up in Discord, is I'm just going to try and beat the game. Time killer. I will probably not make it. <laughs> But just to kind of, again, give you a feel for what it looks like when you put all of what we've been talking about, when you put it all together. Like I, oh, I did that on block and got away clean. That was weird. Thank you all again for tuning in so early in the morning. Again, I know it's uh, if you if you watched <laughs> if you watched all the movies we were showing last night and you're you're still up for this, you you're awesome. Thank you. The sun didn't seem like it should have happened that way. <laughs> Oh, see, yeah, it's a it's a bad trade. Like Thug can space that projectile. Oh, he, oh! Something I neglected to talk about. Um. So there's the instant death move, and there's also like a, a basically a brutality. Uh, at certain points of the life bar, you can do a, um, it's kind of the same, like, all five button input, but instead of doing the one hit decapitation, they'll do this auto combo where they just cut all your limbs off. 
A little, a little unnecessary. Oh, I was hoping that would stun. Oh my gosh. But yeah, I didn't talk about the Blanca balls enough. I don't... That... Oof. I got stunned. I got out thugged. Oh, he beat the head attack. That's huh. good for you. Oh, the thing I didn't mention again about the also he has that he has a run. <laughs> he has a run that has a couple of different follow ups he can come out of it. One of them is that head button. Usually that stuns. Uh, when you do it on counter, like after you've just been hit. I, I meant to get into that. But again, we're kind of winging it. Sorry. <laughs> Ooh, I couldn't get off the ground there. That was... Huh? Oh! Someone definitely would try to make the case that, like... That the not that bad a matchup for for Mantis, <laughs> but I mean I don't know, man. Thug can't fly. Mantas can fly. Oh yeah, I forgot about this button. Oh, that didn't kill him. Come on. Oh, it didn't. He no. I'm in trouble. Ah, got me. Thug heard me talking all that shit. <laughs> Said, oh, you think I'm low tier? What? Let's meet you up on stream, then. Wow, he... He took, like, no hit stun from that. That was crazy. <gasps> that dizzy me, why? Flight, stomp you to death. Where's my, where's my laser, buddy? There we go. Only one can win. That game. They had a hotel with this game in it. Wow, that's crazy. Like I said, the first time I ever played this game, I was at a an, an RC car racetrack, specifically like for model cars. And this guy just also happened to love arcade games. Um, he had a, a Champion Edition machine, an MVS, MK2, T2 the arcade game, this game, NBA Jam. The, the RC racetrack in Cordial, Georgia. That is, that, this must have been like, again, like, this must have been like 94. <laughs> oh no, the sound card. <laughs> sound card gave up again. Unfortunately, once this sound glitch happens, it just happens and you can't, like, fix it unless you reset the game. I also realize I've been going for an hour, so I'm very tempted to switch to Bloodstorm, because I don't think Thug is going to be nice to us today. <laughs> but yeah, bloody game. Bloody. I, I feel like more people, you know, we always see MK with these numbers. But MK don't got air, it didn't have air dashes in 92. This game did. So I hope to, you know, eventually see more, more numbers on this. Um... I'm going to very quickly do like a t one to two minutes um, little sabbatical and then we're going to get into some Bloodstorm. Does that sound good to everybody? Everyone who's anyone? <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Um, I also need to very quickly check um, Discord for the next steps after I do this uh, in terms of the SawCon experience, because after this, there will be a fantastic GBA panel that you are not going to want to miss. So give me one second to set up Bloodstorm, and I'll be right back with y'all. Bloodstorm. Yes, indeed. Um, does that sound okay for y'all? Does it look okay? How, how are we? How are we feeling about this? Uh, how are we feeling this morning? How are, what's the what's the what's the vibes? Do you vibe it? Give me just one second. I'm just pulling up uh, a little bit of information. Um, again, in the allotted time, I am not going <laughs> to... I just checked to see if um, one of the Sockon uh, fraud crew regulars was around. They might not be awake just yet, which is one of the challenges to doing this. You know when you're at a convention and everyone's all over the place. If you go to an event, I mean, the odds of tracking someone down nine times out of ten uh, on a day like today, uh, a little rough, a little all over the place. You know, people need sleep, they need breakfast. It'd be like that. So, Bloodstorm. Um, I may only get to go into a little bit of this, and um, this game is a whole lot. I, I think that this game is better for all of the information that Strata and Incredible Technologies learned after Time Killers. They, you know, they had tons more content, tons more, tons more stuff to do. Um, but I have not been able to get any of these cheats working. There are cheats to play as the developers in this game. And to be more crazy suggested, I try some of that out 
on stream. I was trying some of this before, you know, this morning when I woke up, but I could not get a single one of them to work. And it may be dependent on the revision of the ROM, if that makes sense. So, uh, let's get into what we can do. And what we're going to do... All right, so the first thing I think you need to know about Bloodstorm. This cast, this cast, out of all the people in this cast, Tremor probably far and away, if you are trying to run this game or talk about it in a, in a competitive setting, in a 1v1 setting. Is the game really loud for y'all? It seems very loud to me. I'm gonna check one quick audio setting. See if I can... Yeah! I think the issue is that it's so much louder than Time Killers. Because <laughs> one of the things that Incredible Technologies learned is that if, when your game is loud in an arcade, people will come to see what that sound is. They're like, you come put your quarters in this machine. It's so loud. Okay. Um, all right. So Tremor. First thing off, th this character is maybe their take on Jax, or a Jax alike in terms of character archetype. Like, he's got Jax's rush punch, he's got Jax, you know, some blockable ground pound, and this fireball, which is a low. So already you might be starting to see some issues. And then you would say, maybe, you know, does he does he combo off the rush punch just like Jax? Yes. Perfect. Oh, but there's more. <laughs> there's always more. So, first of all, the thing about this game and the thing they tried to do was that when you do combos like into uppercut in Mortal Kombat, it's you, the uppercut just ends things, right? Um, everyone's crouch jab in this game pops up a little ways. The problem with Tremor is his goes a little too far, and it just combos it to itself. Perfect. And I believe he's the only character in the cast for whom that might be true. I mean, feel free to correct me. But yeah, and, and this button is kind of like neutral on block but you can just really if you catch someone oh, I was trying to do the insta kill um so my crouch jab combos into itself my jump jab is a pop up so one thing that was smart also between one thing I didn't explain as far as universal mechanics go, so they added a block button. I can turn myself to stone. The reason this is kind of good is you can just kind of cancel both stuff into block. So it be kind of comes like a MK glitch jab situation. <laughs> Perfect. So I'm just mostly... Like, I'm blocking, I'm fishing for this. You start to realize you can get this off of dash punch. It should just be all, all five buttons to do the insta-kill. I don't know why I'm messing this up. I apologize. Okay. Um, but yeah, let's say you just... Let's say you're not... You know, if you want to style, 
So you got this ground, this ground pound. This character might need to be banned again if you're doing this in a competitive setting because, like, why is the stomp so good? You can stomp people to death sometimes, <laughs> depending on the matchup. But Tremor, I think, far and away, the best character from just having this, this about a thousand times worse to deal with. In terms of having a good projectile, having this move, which is ridiculously fast. Oh yeah, and my... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Should've warned y'all. Um... Why did that cross up that way? That just they, they you know they added a block button. It's not too terrible to mitigate, but you know as other characters will show us in a minute, sometimes that doesn't matter. Okay, so let me get into kind of some of the nitty gritty here. Um, I think Trevor's undeniably first. You know, unless there's something completely busted about, you know, something that someone finds down the road that can exploit the entire cast. Tremor's, again, the only character that can really do that crouch jab stuff. Um, may have to ban him. I, th I think he's a boss character. His jumping normals are almost, like, full screen. He can short hop with them. They're usually safe on block. Like, his projectile is just this, you know, is really fast. It hits multiple times. I forgot to mention that. And it recovers really fast. Uh, it gets you a knockdown into a gr unblockable ground pound, and it pushes back when you block it to kind of set up more stuff. So, I mean, you can, off of one jump in, you might die against Tremor. It's real rough. And there's several moves that I, I haven't even really explored yet. I think he's, again, like I said, I think he's like five times worse than MK2 Jax. So, then you might ask, well, what's the next step down? Who Who, who would you place in contention for that that coveted secondary spot my answer for that question is hellhound <laughs> um some people might disagree uh some people will say you know freon is also really good i but i'll tell you why i think hellhound is really good give me one second while i So Hellhound, um, y'all know Cinder, right? You know that character Cinder? I'm trying to actually get this to come out like as soon as I leave the ground. Um, There's a way to car this move so you get it just off the ground, and I'm, I'm honest again, it's pretty early in the morning for me, but I, I know it's probably earlier for some of y'all on the, if you might be on the west coast. See, I crossed up like, what? Why? <laughs> so, I don't know, Hellhound is Cinder. Um, check this projectile out. Did, did you want to get in on Hellhound? Cause you gotta deal with this this short hop shit. You gotta get past the wall of that. Um, you can get these to like combo sometime. I'm. Mm, let me see. Ah, uh, quarter circle. Back arm. Um, Meteor is a charge move, so Meteor is like this thing. Like that thing goes so far. Maybe maybe it was doing it out of a. It 
is a little bit like Stud Edge FRC. I think you're right. <laughs> um. Again, the, the, there's a password system in this game. I mean, there's so much stuff they were trying after Time Killers that I think, for the time, it's real innovative stuff. Um, so, what else do we got as, as Hellhound? Um, okay, I, I, I remembered. So the other thing about this move, you can cancel it into itself. Like he needed that. <laughs> There is definitely a way to do it, like, just off the ground that I'm really having trouble remembering. I wish Toby was here to remind me of how to do it, because I kind of remember losing my shit. It might just be off of the tap of forward, but it's a little tricky. Again, the motion is up to forward. Okay, yep, I'm remembering now. We're Re -re remembering. Which is that move, combo, you know, comboing it itself. This projectile, short hop. I, I think that stuff alone really kind of places him pretty high up there, is what I think. I think so. Yeah, and the... Firewheel recovers um, point blank on Bach. Um, passing through them again with that torpedo lands you on the other side. Uh, using that with the firewheel is kind of a built in mix up. And it all just recovers really fast on Block, and that stuff with the air fireballs just makes him a nightmare to kind of approach for some of these characters. Um, and so, oh, one thing I kind of forgot to mention about. Bloodstorm is the universal mechanic of being able to throw your weapon. I was trying to do this earlier in Time Killers, but I might have been thinking about this game instead. This is this is the problem with these games, is there's a crossover. I'm gonna try to throw my weapon. Throw the weapon. I couldn't figure this out earlier. Uh, it should be forward, back arm, and back leg together, and I am—I have not been able to get it. If someone wants to correct me on this, I would be eternally grateful on what the input is to throw your gauntlet at the other person in this game. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, throwing the weapon is also really useful in the same way that something like a Suiko Inbu on Sega Saturn, if you might be familiar with that. Because in that game, when you throw your weapon, it does buku damage. It's a kind of a similar case here, uh, you know, in a lot of early weapon fighters, where discarding your armament just becomes so risky that the developer said that should do a lot of damage. <laughs> And again, like once you throw it, you can actually cancel it into the um, the Hellfire roll. And I think just that stuff, you know, of itself, like I said, you know, Tremor is far and away number one, but I think Hellhound is like right next to that. Um, uh, let me, you know, what I want to do real quick? I want to see how many air fireballs you can throw in a single jump. That's what I want to do. <laughs> We're labbing stuff out because, I mean, if not us, then whom? All right, I'm going to do one big jump. And I'm just going to throw as many as I can until I land. You ready? Wait. <laughs> I'm trying to get it at peak jump. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god! I can almost get five. Oh 
Holy shit! Like, look at that! <laughs> look at this Morgan shit! <laughs> you can... I read, I read on a oh, super old Test Your Might forum post that you can do seven, but I didn't believe it. It might be like Tassable or something. I really want it to work. I'm like, if I can get like at least six in one jump, I will be ecstatic. Oh, now I can't even get one. What the hell? Oh, that was five. <gasps> oh! That's great. Just, just this in and of itself. Like, so there's a couple of you know other characters in this game have really good projectiles. Fallout, as a character, has some amazing projectile stuff. Freon has a boomerang that comes out like the first frame. But they're not doing this. Like, this is wild because you set it up and then you start coming in with hellfires. And those fireballs combo, like it's so, if you're on point and you're throwing out five per jump, how are they going to catch you? Like, how do you deal with that? Oh, something I forgot to mention, you can control the direction of these. <laughs> so you can angle them down. And this is something they carried over to Street Fighter the movie. Because when, you know, you're Ryu and you have meter, you can guide all your fireballs. Or just normally, you can call a fireball and just create this wall. That all kind of seems to come from what they were trying to do with Hellbound, Hellhound. Capcom said, hey, do that with our character. One thing I'm not doing um, is you can cancel... All of that stuff into Hellfire to, to stay safe. Perfect. Yet another thing that makes Hell, Hellhound really, really good. It's a galaxy brain design. So, one thing I want to also try is... And again, I'm, I'm going off of stuff from... Really old, th deleted, now long gone threads from old sites is um, one thing the Hellhound can apparently do is uppercut into with fireball dash into uppercut or is the way they phrase it however they might just be referring to the way that jab pops up so what I wonder if they mean is like doing this into uh, that's not working Okay, so they say Hellfire in this back. So let's see if you can do... Give me just a second. I'm just looking up, again, going through, you know, really apocryphal hearsay threads. It's always kind of a crapshoot with old games. they mean do this and then like hold up forward and what was that hit that was this seems like a good button
Yeah, I don't know. Hellhound, again, seems pretty good. Um, I've gotten the I've gotten the attention of some of the Broad Crew members through Discord, the magic of Discord. Oh, your phone froze and the alarm never went off? Holy shit, that sucks, dude. Okay, though, uh, I think I might do... Because, again, I, uh, sort of the... Um... I guess I gotta talk about some of these other characters real quick. Um, I'm just checking the time to see um, what I have time for. Uh, let's check uh, Tempest real quick. <laughs> I love how it will still say engage if you um, if you bring them in too late. Uh, so Tempest, pretty cool character. She got this dive kick with no height restriction. If you like characters with dive kicks with no height restriction, here you go. Uh, usually safe if you space it, not safe point blank. Cause see how far you like, like, see how much recovery that has. They can, they can fuck you up for doing that. Uh, what else? She has this ribbon, which is. You know, which leads to combos. And death, apparently. Perfect. Like, they thought better of it because you can't obviously do it into itself. Like, it'll, it'll double eyes backfire or whatever, and it doesn't do any damage on its own. The trouble is, if they're tiger kneeing it like this, like... She can just kind of run the clock. <laughs> it's neutral on block. Like, it's such a weird thing for a character to have. Oh, yeah. I totally forgot to tell you. You can steal other people's moves in this game. <laughs> it's real silly. Um... So I show I showed you earlier um, Hellhound's fire stuff. If you beat a Hellfire player, you just get that move. You just have that now. So now, and if you'll notice by my life bar, it just says that I have that. So now I get to just do I get to just do that into dive kick now. Fun, right? I just I'm a, I'm a big fan of just short hopping with projectiles. It's like some melee stuff. <laughs> and good dive kicks. Always fun. Uh something to note, a universal mechanically universally across the board thing. If you do cross jab in the corner, they will usually fly up and pass you because I guess at some point in earlier revisions of this game, they kind of just went straight up and I guess Strata's way of correcting that was to make them fly the fuck away out of the corner like that, like that. You can still combo them! Tempest doesn't get an infinite off of it the way that Tremor does, though. But, you can do that! Like... <laughs> I'm actually gonna try to, like, repeat this. Let me see if I can do it. What an un what a what an unhinged game. The days when games would just just do shit. Look, we're just gonna do it. We do it. I wanna play around a little bit more with this. Like knowing what we know. Uh 
Oh, you know what I just realized? The stun steps up a free one of those. Be allowed to have that move. I'm. I. Mm. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. So I'm noticing it's about 10:32. Um, I'm gonna try to talk up a little bit with these other characters, kind of give you an idea. Uh, I talked a little bit about Fallout, but, um... Just to kind of show you what's good in case you end up having to play this game in, like, a mystery tourney environment, or anything of that nature. You know, some, some stuff in here you might want to know. Something real interesting about this projectile, uh, I'm trying to try to get this to work, but you can toss out three and they have no recovery. Uh, it's a little difficult. The input is like that. The input is charge back two seconds, forward and, and back weapon, then you do quarter circle and input a dash to make him throw the rest. It is a weird input. It's so strange. <laughs> um, <laughs> but in case you don't feel like doing any of that, you know, you got this move. This is pretty good. It's no Hellhound. It's no... We've, we've already determined that Hellhound's projectile game is the best in the game. The thing about doing this with Fallout, though, is much like Tempest's projectile, you can just TK this. Usually good on, like, a, like, wake up, you just want to make them block. The hitbox is his whole hand. Did you see how it hit and then? You see how it's like a two-piece? Perfect. Some weird stuff going on. Okay, so. Uh, I'd be remiss if I didn't talk about Mirage a little bit. Whoops! Engage. Ah, <laughs> you got the engage glitch again. Okay. Um, it's a Mirage. Engage. Uh, Mirage has a mine and a teleport. If you think about that for a minute, oh yeah, there's throws. Um. Sec. Sorry, I'm trying to... Okay. Okay, sorry about that. Um, so... Uh, see... See this mine? <laughs> the one that just blew up? Um... A lot of what this character does is down in both kicks to put out a mine, teleport behind them, and make them deal with the mine. I'm trying to actually throw them onto it. Let me see if I can do it. Oh, teleport girl. The mine, the thing about the mine that makes it fair is that it hits you as well, so it's not like a Doctrine Dark situation. Um, really trying to throw him onto the mine and the game is not cooperating. 
<laughs> I just think that's neat. I kill myself with this mine. She never, she never throws them. Whoops. <laughs> she never throws them in its direction. You always have to kind of, uh, you know, do stuff. But you can play like, you know, mine games. You can play mine games with the mine. Uh, she's also got uh, these grenades. These things. Again, not the best projectile. We're, we're, we're talking about a game with that, where Hellhound exists. Also, I think I ran out of grenades. <laughs> um, but what kind of makes Mirage unique also with that mine stuff is there are certain stages where you can destroy the environment and create like a hazard. Uh, you can destroy part of the floor in the stage with the um, the acid river, and they you know make you know, make them fall into it. It's good fun. Uh, who should I cover before we move on? I'm still sad I couldn't get any of the codes to work. I know I'm gonna get beat up about that. It is kind of Nickelodeon gag, isn't it? <laughs> see we talked about tremor we talked about hellhound uh i guess we should talk about freon a little bit because he's the main character depending on who you believe all right all right let's talk about freon real quick Okay, yeah, so he's got this puddle. Um, it's really slow to come out. You can tap up to cancel it if you actually get it out to come out. It's not super useful, I think. I would like to get... I think they explicitly did not want you to um, to do that into another freeze because look how stubby his crouch dab is. <laughs> like, for most characters, they just wanted you to do that into uppercut. Perfect. But in the case of a, a Freon, where you have a Sub-Zero freeze... Um, Just wouldn't have been prudent <laughs> to let him do that into itself again. I'm sure it like you know in the case of the second player jumping, if you can get that, let's let's try that. Did I not set their controls? Oh god. Okay. Thank you all for sticking with me so far. I know this is kind of a. Uh... Bit of an ordeal. Uh, let me see. Oh yeah, so it yeah you if you if you catch a jump. Okay, but if you but if you cr if you crouch slide them out of the freeze, it's it's a it's a done deal. It's so really you're better off just like killing them if if they with the repeated crouch. Um, Peter Crouch weapons if they, if you catch them jumping. Like that's across the board too. You can like just 
We could just do that. If you drop it, though, that's that's it. <laughs> uh, what's the shadow kick? It's um. Let's see. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I thought something special happened when you did that. Alright, never mind. Okay, so. Oh my god, Charles, you're alive. <laughs> I can't believe it. So I don't know, I talked a bit about these characters. Um, some I didn't cover. I apologize again. I don't really play some of these characters <laughs> like that. Um... Mostly I really just wanted to show you why Tremor is a problem. And I'm going to try and do a little bit more of that now. <laughs> before we before we check out of here. Got to got to got to keep in mind when you go between these games though that again, this game has a block button. <laughs> Time killers, no block button. This game, block button. Just, just keep that, commit that to memory, if you haven't. And that's TOD. That was that was a that was a touch of death. In case you needed to know a touch of death in this game, that was a touch of death. That was a combo. We do combo. We do it. Get that into the stun. And then we stomp. Oh no, the stomp didn't kill. What? Is <laughs> he tried. There was an attempt. Stomp. Just really adamant about short hopping. That was the, the interesting thing to me about. Um, oh yeah, you can tech throws in this, by the way. Um, you just tap like forward and block at the right time. It was really interesting to me that Strata was trying a lot of short hopping and like flight mechanics and stuff. At a time where it wasn't that common. <laughs> oh, that could have been it. That could have been the round. Uh -oh. Stomp. Stomp. Free damage. <laughs> oh, uh, since you're here, to be more crazy, Charles, I should tell you I tried the codes pre before the stream. I could not get a single big head code to work. I don't know what I was missing. I don't know if it was me, I don't know if it was the ROM, we'll... I'll have to get with someone and figure that out, because I would like to play as Alan Noon. <laughs> you can play as Alan Noon in this game. Tremor. Why did the stump make her arm fly off? Is Tremor just that powerful? One of the reasons I wanted to talk about Mirage a little earlier again is, like, the mines can save you from, from Tremor's stuff. Uh, I should mention, the mines are unblockable, by the way. <laughs> so they're not, like, great because you can trade with with them. Or, you know, it can hurt you, too. Oh, that stunned me. Wow. Losing your limbs in this game, not unlike Tom Killers, when you lose one of your normals, if you lose this normal that leads to infinites, you 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 got problems. And once that mines out, you know you kind of have to worry. You have to worry about it. It's it's gonna be there. Did you see how she shoved me out of the corner into the mine? Whoops, that didn't work out. 
Uh oh. <gasps> no! <laughs> the staring contest. Big Babble. <laughs> A casual 70%, it's a free unblockable stomp, you know. Just Bloodstorm things. Oh yeah, I didn't I did mention that this knocks the that knocks down and comes out really fast and leads to unblock and to stomp, right? Stomp. Dead. I got Storm Shield. I'm I'm Mega Man. Uh oh. oh I tried to get cute. Get stunned! No! Stun, damn you. I demand it. Oh! God! <laughs> that didn't go great. Okay. Alright, we can, we can bring this back. Sir! Sir! Uh-oh, I'm in trouble. I'm so close. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, thank you, K-Doc Mizzy. I, I, I knew something had to be wrong. It just... You know, I tried those codes for like 20 minutes straight this morning. Just nothing but trying the codes, and I could not get a single one to function right. And I, I was sitting there questioning, like, what am I doing wrong? <laughs> I'm glad it's not just me who's trying it. Thank you for confirming that for me. Have some rocks. Oh dear. Unhand me, lady. <laughs> Something I should be doing, if you block a Mirage Dive Kick, you just get the infinite for free. It's kind of why Dive Kicks in this game aren't as crazy as they could be. Not, not like the Mantas stuff we were showing earlier. That stuff is all legitimate, but in this game, with you know, oh, she didn't bounce off of it that time. What? Dive kick at me! Come on, lady, lady, you gonna, you gonna cooperate? No. All right. Well, I guess I'll just. Oh, that time she did it. I wasn't ready. <laughs> oh, no! Mirage. Yeah, like I was saying earlier, I think throwing mine into teleport with Mirage is really good. I... There we go. <laughs> now I have the mines. Now I'm the problem. <laughs> hey, you wanna see me blow up this bridge? Oh, maybe it's only a certain life deficit, like... I know it works because I've done it. It just hmm, isn't playing nice today. Uh oh, lost my best button. He killed me. What a mean thing to do. Uh 
Urgh. Oh, that's a bad trade for uh, with Freon, by the way. 99% of what Freon does is these those boomerangs and just. And Tremor can dash punch the boomerangs on reaction and just then just kind of win. I'll win. I'll win. I'll win. Don't you worry. I, I meant to throw there. Oh, bad trade. Him having multiple boomerangs out. Again, not as not as concerning as Hellhound stuff, but <laughs> I got this useless ice morph. I'm kind of like Glacius now. Hey, sir! Can't block that. What are you What are you thinking? Whoop. Didn't quite get the, di the second dizzy. Didn't quite happen. Doesn't matter though. We don't need it. Tremor. We're Tremor. We shrug off like 90% of this game's mechanics. <laughs> oh, I should have waited. I could have killed him from that. Bro, bro. Like, I can, like, he, he doesn't need to be able to zone so well, I think. <laughs> like, an unblockable projectile, the true low. <laughs> On top of everything else, it just, Tremor has too much. And you can get everyone else's moves, if, if that weren't enough. <laughs> Oof, that was a good punish. Oh, oh the... <laughs> Sometimes the CPU will just rapid fire stomp you because they don't have to worry about charge time. <laughs> oh, I'm dead. Engage. Oh gosh, this is not going great for me. No, I lost my best button! Why? Dead. <laughs> got out tremored. So we've got about six minutes until the next panel. I guess I'm gonna. Okay, I just checked, I had to check a message there, sorry. Um, I'm gonna run this down. I think what I'm gonna do in a second is play some, a couple of really old match videos from Time Killers I managed to locate a little while back. Would that be something y'all would be interested in? Uh, let, let me know. Again, you know, Pretty wild game, but a lot of the information for it is just lost to time <laughs> due to the way that old threads get deleted. Tremor. Perfect. Would absolutely love to see more people pick this up on Fight K, though. Indeed. Especially if you've enjoyed any of the content here so far. Thank you guys for tuning in. God, you know what I didn't talk about? with Tremor. I didn't talk about how when you block that, you can just go into stomp and it just works. Because it's a two-piece that's just so safe. Um, I don't know. I couldn't get a single. Like, I've gotten to and beaten Necron in this game. I've not fought all of the, um, the hidden bosses, the agents of Necron that you fight in the arcade mode to this. Um, as it is pretty challenging. <laughs> 
they they tried to you know put a lot of effort into single player content. I think was the focus when Strata Strata released this back in the day. You know there weren't a lot of great single player focused uh, arcade game uh, fighting games, and they really tried to do something different with the password system, and make that unique. So again, you know, give this game a try if you haven't. Um, if you think it's trash, that's fine. <laughs> It's 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 some some high caliber trash. Holy shit, hi Ron. <laughs> I just noticed the chat. Uh thank you guys again so much for tuning in. Uh what I'm going to do now uh as I you know, in order to both A stall for time and B uh give you guys a little more content you may not have seen, I'm going to switch scenes and put on a couple of match videos for time killers which we were talking about earlier um from a couple of, of um old school mk players back in the day uh a guy originally uploaded these i think goes by like shice newson they used to play a lot on like kylera and i always used to kind of enjoy uh, some of the content they would put out so give me one second i'm gonna load that up and then we'll watch that and we'll call it a, a panel how's that sound let me know what you think. I'm so happy you're here, Ron. <laughs> um, and um, the matches I'm actually going to put on are actually from like 2010, I want to say. Um, so not so far removed, but, you know, again, a lot of the the stuff that those players draw on proper is just kind of gone. But, you know, ar thanks to archive.org and, you know, God bless them and how important that is. Uh, you know, there's still stuff you can dig up and there's still a lot of merit to some of these games that aren't getting enough attention on Ficate, in my opinion. So, give me one quick second. I'm still working out a quick OBS thing. And matches are forthcoming. Give me just a sec. Let me know if you, let me know if you guys can see this, okay. Also, let me know if it's too loud.
Oh, sorry, guys. Excuse me. I, I forgot. I um, I accidentally blew it all up. Uh, so I think that we should be ready to eventually move on to the next bit of talk on related content. I hope I didn't just show all of you my Discord. <laughs> Um, so give me one second here, and and again, thank you all for you know, coming out so early. I know, you know maybe this was a little hasty to be so soon in the day, but... Um, Really appreciate y'all coming out. Give me one quick sec. We're going to Okay, whoops, sorry. Okay, so the other stream is live. Uh, I'm going to very quickly raid you all back over to Robot Boombox. Thank you again for coming out. Um, you know, please give a follow if you like this so far. I'm going to be sending you all back to Robot Boombox uh, for the currently in progress GBA panel. Uh, thank you again. We're going to be on in a minute, or, and by minute, I mean, like, five seconds, so I will give you your intro, and then we can rock. Oh, I'm not live. No. Um, oh. Now you are. Hey, folks. Oh, God, I was muted. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I just... No, I, got, I got what's going on. I got it. Yeah, I, I realized I wasn't um, able to be heard by all right after I just started sending people over, but it should be good now. Thank you all again for your patience. Welcome to SawCon Day 2. I hope that you all found the uh, Bloodstorm and Time Killers demonstration Two, slash casual lightning and time killing. The, uh, and time and time now, without further ado, I have to introduce someone who I've known for and a minute, now, who's basically like the Q of Game Boys, uh, <laughs> the gadget of Game Boys. It is my good friend Ed, who's going to tell us all about uh, Game Boy stuff, first in video form, and then afterwards, uh, some live content, whatever that happens to be, so I will kick it over to him. Hi, I'm Edward, Game Ed Boy Mowinkle, and I like Game Boys. Um, I appreciate the upsell. However, if I am the Inspector Gadget of Game Boys, I am like the Matthew Broderick from the movie Inspector Gadget of Game Boys. I know some things, I enjoy them quite a bit, and I am here today to tell you that Game Boy ownership might be for you. Initially, I didn't think I was going to have the bandwidth to do this, so I prepared video content, and then about three days ago, my network changed, and now I have the bandwidth to do it, but we're still going with the video, and we're going to start with that, in which I show you my Game Boys. I talk about them, tell you what you could do to them to potentially make them better, and 